top-rating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Throwing now is Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second and seven, Rodgers. And yeah, this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Rodgers going to throw. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 42. It's a gain of 12, but the Packers have the first. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. On play action, now Rodgers. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Now a first down carry by Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. And he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Hey, 
They'll run here with Dillon. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Dillon. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are on the board first here this afternoon. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. From the six. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. First carry for James Conner. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action. Now it's Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. First down, Murray finding Ertz again. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw, it's Murray. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. To throw is Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moore. And he'll be brought down at the 27. <laughs> On first and 10 is counter. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here, give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Connor is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point good by Prater, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. As this offense takes a field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. Yeah, we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tanya. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Flushed out right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Part of the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay, because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. Roger Slow brought in by Watson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. 
to win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Rodgers, and his throw's going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. That finds his receiver, Watson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And again, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. Right side to Watson. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Steps away to his left. The left side completion to Jones. Touchdown! Jones, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The CD, you know he's got great options of wide receiver tied in, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. On first and 10, here's Murray, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. The Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And then with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Murray. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Murray now on first down. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Now Murray throwing on second down. Screen pass to Connor. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 
The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Murray a give. This is Connor. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. On second and nine, Murray, he's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy who can take him the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Murray flips his forward on the jet sweep. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On second and seven, Murray. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. They'll run here with Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now Prater to add the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Being chased out left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, he partnered just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now Rodgers. Quick slant to Watson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. On the delay, Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. To throw on second and six, Rodgers. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. A potential field goal, if you're thinking about that, almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Able to find Lazard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. They go back to the ground with Jones, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now Rodgers. That's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And it's a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back.
after the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Murray now. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting them. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. On the counter, here's Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From the 39, Rodgers throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And inside give to Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Off the option, it's Jones. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Second down, another shot for Jones. Now the card's going to call another timeout. They're second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by Crosby is good, and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game.
after the made field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Murray's throw complete there to Moore. Down on the other side of midfield. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Murray. Well, they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Now Murray. Buying time. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Brandon, that's just football one on one. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two minute drill. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. To throw is Murray. Over the middle here to Brown. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. This one came right down to the wire. And CD, they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. That's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.